Hey guys, so this is just a little ride um, that I took on the way home from work. And um, it's just, you know, just a quick blow through. I didn't really do too much. Just, again, still getting used to the 450L. So far, I really like it. I mean, once the flame out issue is resolved, which still does it every once in a while here and there, but I don't worry about it too much. You know, it doesn't, it, it does it so randomly um, that I really, you know, I haven't even really had to, to cuss it too much. But I really like the way the bike handles in the sand and the, you know, river crossings and all. Um, it's got the torque to pull through it. And the rally did too, but you really had to scream it and it would also bog down very easily. So, but all in all, you know, I still love both bikes. I'm um, probably going to be bringing the rally back out in the next week or two. Um, Zach's talking about doing a little road trip probably in the middle of next month. I really still would like to do a half film with Roy. Um, I've still got a couple weeks vacation that I gotta use up. So, really like to do it. Um, I don't know if everybody can get on board, but we'll see what happens. This place is a, is a mix of a lot of sand, and then there's also a lot of red dirt clay and things of that nature. So it's, I don't ride here very often because it's a pretty small place. Um, most of the places that I ride are actually very small. Um, probably the size of your average Walmart parking lot. <laughs> they might not look like it, but they're just uh, you know, a small trail system. A little Ooh. area. Got my ass wet on that one. But this place, like I said, it's got all different kinds of uh, materials. You know, we just went from sand into dirt. And obviously there's a lot of mud back here. Gets a little swampy here and there. There's hill climbs. You know, it's it, The thing is, I just don't want This is down toward my way, and the guys I ride with, are, you know, they're from up north, so we don't really ride here too much. But again, it is a cool little spot. I actually started riding this when I got the 250L and it looked like nobody had been here in years and uh, this year it looks like people have been riding here pretty good so, but this whole area right here is how fun it is um, I'm just passing through you know just to check things out but I'm really thinking about switching from the D606 to an enduro tire for the 450L I mean, I like, you know, being able to break traction and you know, slide around and have fun, but I think I'll give it a try. I mean, the D606 seems to do pretty darn good on the street. Um, I really don't have too much to complain on it, on the dirt, even though I've only ridden it you know, in a couple of little spots here and there. Um, the traction-wise, it seems to do okay. But, like, say if I were to go to Hatfield McCoy, um, I don't want to take my chances with the 606. You know, I want to try and do the triple digit trails, you know, the single track. And at Hatfield, the single track is very hard. Um, you can watch some of Zach Attack videos where they went to Hatfield and did, like, the 199 trail, which is kind of funny, the Travis Pastrana trail. But these are really tough trails. Um, even the 250L, I've questioned whether or not I'd be able to do those trails. I think I would. Um, would I get high centered and fall a lot? Probably. But um, as far as you know, the traction is concerned, I would not want to go unprepared to a place like that. You know, I've been there three times. I've loved all three trips. Um, I've only been there once on a dirt bike. I have a 06 450R Honda four-wheeler, and uh, I've always brought that with me. And I also 
brought my CR250 once as a secondary, and um, it was actually right after having it repaired. Um, the flame down on the top. I'd gotten um, my ex-girlfriend. I was teaching her how to ride the bike, and she actually wrecked it pretty bad and uh, tore herself and the bike up. And somehow or another, the crankcase started leaking after the accident, and it was the first time I'd ridden it, so you know, I was losing trans fluid. But I rode. I still rode it. You know, just here and probably for about two hours. And I really liked it, but I never went back. So. It's been a good five or six years since I've been there. I think, uh, not the spot I'm going to say like 2013, exactly. 2014 maybe. It's the last time I was there. But um, if you're on the East Coast and you want to do some mountainous terrain, it is a beautiful place. It's 50 bucks. And there's no rival to it. I mean, Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area is really cool but again you know it's very rocky um, at Hatfield you can pick your terrain um, you can pick hundreds of miles of the type of terrain you like to ride um, and I do believe they're adding new areas all the time um, last time I was there I think there was like five or six different riding spots so, um, but I'd really like to take my 250L and the 450L there I think it will be good for certain rides because a lot of the places have a lot of green trail and the 250L would be great for that. Unfortunately planning a trip like that for, for me and the guys I ride with, it's a big trip because it's going to take us about seven hours to get there. Um, you know, depending on what time we leave, chances are we're not going to ride the first day. Um, Secondly, you know, you got to spend the day driving home and unpacking. So there's two days of the trip right there of just, you know, getting there and getting unloaded and loaded. But it is, it's definitely worth it. Um, if we go there for three days, you know, we will be completely worn out, most likely, um, if we ride all day. I've ridden there, you know, with just me and my girlfriend who was, at the time, she rode a little bit here and there, and um, she was a little 250EX four-wheeler with a recluse clutch, just a little auto clutch, and she did great. You know, I mean, I, I took her on a couple black trails, um, but they were only black because of the terrain. We were basically going up the you know, spine of a mountain, and she did end up uh, crashing. She got scared. You know, she. She hung out on the, on the ledge of a rock where she should have just rolled over and ended up flipping the bike and hitting her in the hip with the handlebar. And she was pretty bony, so imagine it didn't feel too good. But, like I said, that was the last time I was there. And, you know, you get worn out pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of, uh, lot of mixed terrain. So, I mean, you just decide which place you would like to go. Like I said, there are lots of different towns with different trail systems and you can pretty much uh, look up every single one of them and see which one works for you. You know, if you've got kids, um, you've got novice riders, there are lots of green trail spots. Uh, Rock House has a pretty easy green trail that goes all the way through from the town of Gilbert to the town of Man. And that is actually one of the best first day rides you can do. It's 25 miles. Um, there are lots of challenging trails off of it and where you get to stay on the green trail and chill you know but it's a good 50 mile round trip a day and um, you get to have lunch halfway through it turn around and go back and dual sports we can ride back the road if we had to it's just we were supposed to go yeah, it's in a gnarly April hill this year but covid really screwed up you know, it'd be nice for golf to get together and do it but chances are it's going to be really hard for some of the guys. So get it, see, get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Finish out the yeah, conversation. Yeah, he did good. What do you think, though? Again, I'll do it again. It'll be fun. I love these dual sports, dude. Ooh, he was bucking himself pretty good that time, but he did good.
You got it, brother. You got it. You're not going to go. <laughs> You need a hand, dude? Yeah. That one's always fun. <laughs>